Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm just going to teach you the basics of iDownloader. So as you see my other um, videos, you guys will see that iDownloader, you use it to download music and other stuff in it too. So we're going to get right into it. So let's say you guys downloaded something, okay? So I recommended MP3 Skull. There's a bunch of other websites that you can use, so it's all up to you guys. Um, so let's just go into downloads. On downloads, you should be able to see something there or else you would see it under files, okay? So under your files, okay, I'm gonna teach you guys a few things. Under your files, that's where you can play your songs, okay? So all you guys have to do is just tap on the song that you just downloaded, and it's gonna start playing, okay? That's all you guys have to do. Um, here's the play, you can go to next, you can airplay it, you can do pretty much anything, okay? And you guys can just play anything from there. You guys can play a playlist, Okay, so once you download a bunch of songs, you guys can make as many playlists as you like. So, what we're gonna go is into playlists. So here you can add a playlist just by tapping on add playlist. You can add music, video, it depends. Um, but we're gonna go back into files, because that's where we want to do our major stuff. Okay, it's all basically in files, that's where you want to add and do everything basically. So, um, we're just gonna tap right here on the right hand side, you're gonna see this little corner. And here, you guys can do add to playlist, add tag, open in. So you guys could open in other apps. So I'm just gonna quickly show you that. Um, the way to really transfer this, okay, if you guys have other music, um, for example, DLC is a pretty good one. Uh, BLC streamer, that's okay, but you would probably want to open this music up in BLC player if you have that or DJ or any other app that you want to open up in, this is the way to do it. Um, if you guys want to transfer into iTunes, okay, to have it under your music, the easiest way is pretty much just to put it, uh, connect your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch into your computer and then just transfer stuff from there. Um, okay. To delete any song, so let's say I want to delete this one, just go and click on edit. Okay, once you tap on edit, just tap on the song that you want to delete, for example, then go into actions, which is down here below, and there you have delete, add playlist, and just move it along or select all, deselect all, and you can do that. So that's how you delete something, and that's pretty much it. Those are the basics for iDownloader. Obviously in settings there's a little bit more stuff that you can get into, however those are really the basics, that's all you need to know for now. You guys can play around with it, you get to know it pretty fast, it's not that hard. Um, once again, everything's pretty much in files, remember to just tap on done once you're done editing whatever you want to edit. And that's it for this tutorial. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.